this is Roy Thompson, as you saw on the screen. I'm glad to be happy with you on this pleasant day. No rain, no snow, we're good. Uh, I've only been here a couple of times in the last few months for good reason. But let's make up for some lost time. Look, I want to start with some local stuff. Uh, I, there's a little farm out near McCann here uh, on, on East Road. It's called Mountain Girl Farm. It's in North Adams, and it's, the farm says it's only authorized a healthy incentive program. It's the only one in North Adams. We're working hard to be sure that the easy access to this wonderful monthly SNAP benefit. Transportation to a local farmer's market or a mountain girl farm may keep you from you know, taking advantage of this, but please contact us and uh, we'll, we'll take, take care of your transportation. More information about monthly delivery of fresh fruits and veggies and set up your delivery day. Simply call and learn more. And the phone number is, if you have a pencil and temper, it's one 856 Five three six zero four two zero. I'll give it again. That's wrong. That was the text number. <laughs> Call four one three six six three nine seven six one. Four one three six six three nine seven four one. Uh, while I ha we're talking local stuff, uh, this this girl. Mabu, she uh, was the first one to complete our program for the uh, North Berkshire Roy Thompson Scholarship Fund. And I'd like to make mention that we've, we have uh, applications available at all schools, and we'd like to see some of you folks submit your application, and we probably can help you out with a few dollars, okay? That's what we do. We try to raise money to give you a few bucks to get going. Hopefully, as the funds grow, so will our donation. Um, going along with this, these folks at the farm have all kinds of pickled butternut squash. They got along. Their 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 number one thing is goat milk and and soap, delicious products, and farm and a farm bakery. They're on Church Street, um, right near McCann School, right at the intersection there. And you'll see the animals roaming around. They don't kill any. They name them all. And they have good products, and they're good people. So it would be a good idea to, to stop there and, and uh, get some fresh stuff. But buy locally. It helps us. Buy local. You hate to see somebody go out of business because locals didn't, didn't support them. You know, as the story goes, a guy in North uh, Williamstown said this. He was closing his store, and a guy came in. I think it was a hardware store. And he said, geez, you're, you're closing. And the guy said, yeah. He said, you know, when I didn't know where to get anything, he, I came here. And the guy said, that's why I'm closing. You went to everybody else before you came here. So in any case, that's just a, a little example. One other thing about locals, uh, the Adams uh, Alert Host Company, um, they, could, they could use some more volunteer firefighters. They're not short, but they're close. And uh, again, we're talking local stuff. Uh, they're a real proud outfit. They're well-trained, well well-equipped. Uh, it's a proud organization. And if you like action, that's the place to be. A lot of guys say, yeah, they don't do anything. Well, you're going to do a lot. You know? And what it does, it helps your tax rate, too, and you Adams folks, OK? Because what happens is that if we have places that go out of business because of fire, destruction, or whatever, you're not going to connect it, collect any taxes on it. The other thing is, if you're a volunteer firefighter, you don't have to pay those guys, all right? Once, if you had to do what North Adams is doing, you'd be hurt, Adams, I'll tell you. They, their payroll is big compared to the size of the department. They earn every penny of it and more. But uh, unfortunately, we haven't had to do that yet. So that's some of the local stuff. Um, moving right along, well, I want to talk about dogs. You know that I talk about dogs a lot. Um, from what I understand locally, we're going to lose our, our animal control officer. We're going to have one control officer. Now, this is just secondhand information. 
in Williamstown, North Adams, and Adams. That's not right, okay? I will be at the select board meeting to express my opinion on it. That is not fair and it's not right. They can't defend themselves and for what they do. So that's our part. To get to our local select board, our local mayor here in, in Adams, get a, get a hold of the select, the select board. I know the police are gonna say, well, we're paying for this, we're paying. You bet your life you are. And they deserve some defense. What you and I have seen and we, on TV and live and the stories you hear about what they do to animals, they leaving neglected. You know, you, everybody's got a camera today, take a picture. I know the police chief in Adams told me, he said, if you take a picture and you present it to me, and if it looks like it's uh, uh, breaking the law, I'll look into the matter. And the only okay you have to get is from the guy who took the picture or the woman who took the picture. You don't have to get an okay from anyone else. So if you see, you know, because sometimes something's going wrong and by the time you call the, the, the police or something, the, the, the bad guy's gone. So what you do is you take a picture of it and you bring it into the police station. And uh, I, know, I know they're busy, but that's part of being busy. Our animals. What's more company than, than, a, than a beautiful animal and what they do for us? But one of the things about it is that according to medical science, the dog is 95% human being, if you will. They have, the, the parts are laid out, the, all the things, they, all, they have a liver and all that. And this is, th th this is told by a doctor on television for 60 minutes, okay? 95% of it, so they said they were, they were searching for uh, cancer cures and they, they found the similarity between the human being and the dog. So there he is, okay? And he's standing up for you. So please, take care of the animal, not only dogs, cats, every, I hate it when they abuse animals, okay? Call, call, call your police officers, you know? They, again, they're busy, but the animal is part of our, a part of our project. Our, the animal is part of our community. The animal gives us a lot of spirit. They never turn us away, okay? Please do that. And when you go away for a while, don't, don't crate them. Okay, I, you'll say, well, he's going to tear my furniture apart. The thing with that is what you do is you train him not to. What the hell is that putting a dog in a cage all day while you're at work? Don't have a dog. Bring him home, feed him supper, and then put him back in a cage while, they go to, while you go to bed? Remember, if you adopt a dog, make sure that they get the right paperwork, that they're in good physical shape and mental shape, Okay be ready to do some training with them. They're an expense and you have to give them love and you have to give them care. And, and it, it, it takes some of that, but believe me, for the years that I've had dogs, it's well worth it. So I'm saying don't, you know, you, if you put a dog in a, in a, in a cage, he, he's vulnerable to fire, to smoke, anything that goes wrong in that house. He's the, he's the victim, okay? So try not to do that, okay? It says here that the, the dog was delivered here by Holy Spirit. Treat him as such. Uh, moving along, uh, still on a local economy. Uh, Bella Sky, it's a new place in Adams on Summer Street. They serve all sorts of little trinkets or sell them. They are now selling a, um, that we call it uh, Together Forever. It, it's a, a little necklace with a capsule on it of glass that you can put the ashes, the remains of your pet or a hair trimming of your pet in it and you'll have it around your neck and it's Together Forever, okay? It's 15 bucks and all the money goes into the scholarship fund. Not a nickel goes into us. Or, or to Sky, uh, Bella Sky, okay? 
Uh, Ashley uh, is, puts them up, and they're uh, hopefully a good money maker. But it, it's they're they're quite a quite an idea. It's helping the local economy, and uh, it keeps the thought alive of your animals. You know, um, and and it helps helps the. the uh, the uh, um, local merchants over on Summer Street. Um, I wrote here, it's a cute novelty shop. Uh, folks feel uh, fortunate. You know, we go away too much. People want to shop. Why do they want to shop out of town? The further you go, the better it is. That, that's baloney. North Adams, Adams, Williamstown. Spend your money there. Take a look. See what you can do, okay? Ah, now I got other things. We talk, we, I did the fire department and I did a few other things, the necklace and uh, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, yeah, <laughs> a little humor, but I, I don't know who's going to find it funny. <laughs> What's his name? Buck Rogers there, Ryan of the uh, Republican Party, Speaker of the House, right? He was dumb enough to come out with something the Republicans said, don't say. The secretary for somebody, I don't know who it was, but anyway, she got a dollar and a half more in her pay because their taxes were cut. And he went, and he was dumb enough, that's how dumb this guy is, to publicize it. And when the Republicans got a hold of it, they wanted to kill him. But that's how stupid that man is. And that guy's running our country. And then the other bozo. You know, there are people, maybe somebody here watching me, and they'll turn me off. They think Trump is doing a good job. I'm going to tell them, give them another year. <laughs> You're going to find out. That, that probably brings us into that ugly sight of uh, guns. Unfortunately, we had the shooting the other day, another one. And uh, but don't 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 get nervous, all you gun guys. Don't worry. They would nobody's gonna take your guns. Sales have gone up in guns. Nobody's as long as there's big money in it, guns are gonna be good. Okay, you're gonna have more guns than you know what to do with. You're gonna have one on each hip and all that stuff. And and. And you're slow enough to think that we would want all your guns. I don't, first of all, you, the military and the police, yeah. Why don't we, con you, I got a little glimpse of what Japan does, and I think I'll bring it the next time I come. I, it's on the computer. In Japan, <clears throat> pardon me, you can own a handgun. All guns have to be registered. You have to take lessons on it, not one afternoon but a, a day or two, you have to take classes to see if you got anything between here and here. And I mean, day classes, you take them. It takes a number of weeks to see if you're physically, mentally capable of handling a gun. And there's more to it than that. Any of you guys who were in the service, you understand that. Or people that have been trained with weapons. There's more to just loading and firing. They, they need maintenance. There's a lot, a lot to it. When I see on television these guys teaching their four-year-old child to fire a gun, I'd like to fire his head. It's so dumb. You know, pistol clubs and that type of thing, fine. I don't like hunting, but it's legal, fine. But I know a, a, a two, two couples in Adams right now are at odds ends because of this. One said, you gotta have a gun. You, this, these politicians that come on and say, I want to protect my family, if a guy's that dumb to think he's going to protect his family with that gun, he shouldn't have a gun. Now, there are people who live in the outside areas, and I have two daughters that live in outside areas. Those folks should have guns, okay, for protection, because today it's a shaky world. At one time we didn't have to worry about that. But if you're, you feel you're in harm's way, <clears throat> pardon me, you should have a gun. And, you know, be, going to the movie with a lot of people is not being in harm's way. What I'm saying is if you live in, a, in the outskirts and you're vulnerable to, to, to bad happenings, that's bad news, then you have your gun. 
and then you, you're going to have to know what, how to do it, what to do. And, you know, Florida, you can buy a gun like you buy Cracker Jacks. I don't understand. Yeah, well, every state has its own thing. But, you know, I see guys walking around a holster in, in, uh, on, on TV. I've seen them in Adams. I've seen them in Berkshire County. Guy from holster. He's going to carry a gun. How many guys are experts with a gun? Not many. Especially if you try to hit a moving target. Okay? I was an armor and a service. I took a lot of training with the weapons. I did some training with the weapons. All right? I, I was uh, an expert with weapons. And let me tell you, as good as you, you think you are, it's tough to hit a, a, a good target, a target that don't want to be hit. So the, the thing is, is that I'm not taking any pleasure away from you, and I'm, I'm not trying to take your, your protection away from you. It's just that we have too many people. Look at Florida the other day. What was it Florida? A 12-year-old kid had a gun, brought a gun to school, and shot five people. Five people. Didn't kill any of them. She was a bad shot. But <clears throat> they tried to say it was in her backpack, and it fell out of her backpack, and it went, it discharged, and it shot five people. Our gun people, ooh. <laughs> no, it, it, it's, you, you don't need a gun. You know, I, I would be, if I go into, I've never been in a place, I've never stayed in a place, a restaurant, whatever, that were, the guys are sitting there with guns. I'm not sure why they brought those guns. I mean, they're probably going to eat on a house, right? When they're done eating, they're going to clean the cash register. I, I, don't, I don't like it, okay? I don't like, you know, you hear, I heard a story, you probably did too, you know, where a year or two ago, there, a guy comes into a, a theater, and he opens fire in the theater. It's dark like this. He opens fire in the theater, he kills 12 people. Now, I overhear a conversation of some of these guys with their 12 out, 30, knock, knock, whatever they got, gun. And I would have just picked him out and picked him off, the guy said. Well, I had to move away because if he was going to load any more of that crap out, I didn't want any part of it. I mean, that's stupid. He's going to pick a guy out of the crowd of about 1,000 people. He's going to shoot that guy. First thing of all, if there's other guys in that theater like him, you're going to have about 12 guys with guns shooting at each other, you know? That's, that's called mayhem, right? And the, the shooter, the killer, you probably get away. So that's stupid to talk. But when guys that want guns talk like that, they shouldn't talk like that. They should shut up and don't express all their ignorance. They should just say, I got my gun and I'm going to kill him if he tries to get away from me. You know, well, yeah. So, you know, that, that's... It, it, it put a, a, a mar on the Olympics. Uh, I, I, I like the Olympics. It's never a big deal to me because, you know, when there's a race and a hundredth of a second is the difference. That's big. And I watch it. But they had heart. They felt bad. They felt sad about all, all the going on. And uh, that kind of stuff demoralizes our entire country. Can you imagine what those young people from our country is with all those other people, hey, you had a shooting again in your country, huh? He said, we don't know what to do. He said, well, look at some other countries, huh? Take Japan, as I said. Take a look at Japan. See what they do. They might have something you like. By the way, you have to re-register every three years in Japan. You know, it, it just makes sense to know that you're safer, your family's safer. I'm going to save my family. Uh, 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 uh. You know when a guy comes with a gun and holds you up, give him whatever he wants, okay? They interviewed a guy in Tennessee, a British guy, came over, and he was checking why we have guns. So he goes to this guy's house. It's not a joke, but he goes to this guy's house, a big man, and and he, the, the British guy said to him, you know, I'm interviewing people about guns, blah, 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 blah. And the guy says, okay, you own a gun? And yeah, I do. And he said, what kind is it? And he told him, would you like to see it? He said, yeah. So the guy goes upstairs, and he gets this gun, 
and he brings it down and he shows the British guy and he said, where's your ammunition? He said, a lot of want to have it loaded, something could happen right here. Okay, now, let me ask you this. If you're gonna break into this guy's house, you're gonna knock on the door, ring a bell and say, look, you better bring ammunition for your gun when you come down. You know, it does. that guy owned the gun. <laughs> and he was gonna protect his family. Anything that moved in the dark, he was gonna shred it. But he's got it. Yeah. To me, I look at a lot of those guys and you give them a chalk tobacco and a gun and a greasy, greasy hat and a pickup truck, it's like heaven. They're all set to go. Maron. Am I glad this is not a call in because somebody would certainly want to call me, call in and say you're full of baloney. And up to a point I am. However, you know, it, we, we, got, we got to do something. But, you know, I don't know if you saw Kelly. She has a morning show or something. She went through the whole litany of what, you know, what happens in the government and so forth. And she told about all the shootings and all the murders and all the stuff that happens. And she says, but you know what? You know what's going to happen? Nothing. And that's true. Nothing will happen. So I don't know why we're going to spend a lot of money trying to stop guns. Nothing will happen. And that's sad. That's sad when people know that they can waltz around with something that can kill a lot of people and it's not illegal, right? Some places it is. Yeah, you understand, New York City, you can't carry a gun. That's not a bad idea in New York City. Um, to take, but if, if you don't like what's going on, if you don't like the guns, if you don't like the taxes, if you don't like something, or you do like it, express your feelings to the local authorities. Tell the mayor you think he's doing a good job. That doesn't hurt. Tell the selectmen in Adams and Williamstown you're doing a good job because you're quick to, you'd be quick to say to them, you're doing a lousy job. Uh, while on that, Adams, you know, is, their town administrator is gone, hallelujah. And um, we're, we're going to be looking for another one. Donna Season is the interim. And I'll tell you, Donna Season is, is a top of the line person, smart, honest. And she'll be retiring in May, I think. And, you know, Adams is bad off. And we're probably going to be worse off. But you can all, you know, you can call. Now, here's one. We have a, a comparatively new uh, uh, first district representative. He's not new to politics, and that's John Barrett. Now, John's got a line. I, I'm not sure about North Adams. I would imagine if you call him call the town hall, uh, city hall in North Adams and the town hall in Williamstown, you can get him uh, on a line because in Adams, pardon me, I know this from experience, if you call the town hall, you can get his line in it. It's, uh, in Adams, if you, it, now I know there's only four guys that went up from three that watched this show. One of you must know how to write. And it's 743, 413, 743, 8330, and his extension is 126. When you call 743-8330, a menu will come up and they'll tell you by department and so forth. And John Barrett's extension is 126. I know it works because I've spoken to him on it. I've called him, he's called, you know. So um, there's something you don't like or something you, you think needs done. I, I'd rather say rather than I don't like this, you, you, you talk to someone say, I got an idea that's probably better than what we're doing. And run and buy them. You know, anybody can say, you, you watch the Super Bowl, I would have never thrown that pass. No, that guy did. And he gets about three million bucks to do it. And he, and he trains all year long. So, you know, suggest, make suggestions. Go to the meetings. I think we should have a neighborhood crime watch. I proposed that about four years ago. Yet, yet, nothing. But we can try again, okay? Um, you know, we, we had a shooting on Summer, North Summer Street in Adams a, a while ago. 
and a whole lot of hoopla over it. And so we should have somebody, more, you know, reporting. There, there are people who see a lot of things. And, you know, they say, if you see something, say something. I know when I get through with this, I'm going to say, holy moly, I wanted to say this, and I didn't say it. And you're going to probably say, boy, I'm glad he didn't say it anymore. But uh, anyway, you know, you can get John Barrett and, uh, on, uh, the, on the phone, and you don't, you don't get a recording. I didn't anyway. A lady answered the phone, and she had information that I could use. Um, I think that uh, a town like Adams should write for grants to get more, more business in. I think that Adams could, could to any town, you got a select board or you got select a, a, a mayor. You, you, I know you got two people that r really know business in your town. Put them on their own. You don't have to pay them. And when they get something good, they bring it to you. They read the, they read the business magazines. They talk to business people. There are people like that. They know a lot about business. They know a lot about money. Tell them, don't come back until you got something for me. And if you don't come back in two weeks, I'm going to go looking for you. Really? Put people out there to search stuff out. It ain't going to come in and say, oh, I'd like to put a factory over here. Okay? That don't happen. Go looking for it. It's not like buying fish in the market. You got to go get it. Somebody had to get it. Well, anyway, uh, I talked about the dogs. I hope you, you understand 95% of the dog is just like you and me. Of course, you're going to say, well, they probably got a lot more brains than me, and I wouldn't doubt that right now. But in case, if you see something, say something. Do something. Don't be, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved. They're going to ask me questions. No, but you'd be the first one to go on Facebook or whatever they call it, or call them and say, did you know, da, 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 you know, huh? And as you know, we're winding down to my last minute. It's 50 seconds left, and you're saying, thank God, but don't get up until I'm done. This class is not over. Be good to animals, see something, say something, and do something. I always refer people who don't do anything. They're like a football team. They practice all week. They go, oh, boop, 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 boop. they get to the field. They get in a huddle, and that's all they do. They talk in a huddle. So down to 20 seconds, Paul Marino, I got to wake him up to shut off all the power in the building. But in any case, I want to thank you for looking at Those who were strong enough to stick it out with me. I'll be back, and I'll have more news for you as soon as it pops through. I want to say goodbye to everybody. Thanks.